So not only are DICE pumping a load of new content onto the CTE today, they've also published that they're going to be working on reducing some of the grenade spam in the game. Many people might remember the massive overhaul that Battlefield 4 had to its grenade system, massively reducing the spam and returning grenades to a more tactical element of the game rather than simply a full-blown attack. Grenades became tools to flush players out of certain locations, enabling the thrower to then pick them off with their primary or secondary weapon. Currently in Battlefield 1, grenades are just spammed constantly, and they continue to be thrown all of the time simply because they're resupplied so damn quickly. Take Assault players for example, they've got two anti-tank grenades as a gadget, and then a standard grenade as well, they can really abuse the grenade system, along with the excessive amount of gas grenades that we have in the game as well. DICE are proposing a proper solution to all of this, and that goes beyond the nerfs to the gas grenades that we saw in the February patch, but they're still trying to keep players enabled so they can have fun with the elements of grenades as well. Remember, just before I go on, all of this stuff is on the CTE for testing at the moment. It's not currently live in the full game. Just before I continue, I have a sponsored message from the guys over at Opinion Outpost. I've worked with these guys before, and they can help you earn some extra cash or gift cards for places like Amazon and iTunes, simply for giving your opinions on some different topics. Lots of companies out there need feedback on their products, and Opinion Outpost rewards you for the time you spend feeding back to them. There's a link down in the description to their site. Go get yourself signed up. It's something you can do in your spare time, and you get some cool rewards for it. Speaking on the CTE Reddit pages, David Serland, a developer on the CTE, has stated the following. As part of an ongoing effort to address excessive use of explosive gadgets and grenades, we changed the way grenades resupply for this release. The goal for these changes is to reduce the amount of grenades available while getting constantly resupplied, as it's common in choke points, without making resupplies unnecessarily long in other gameplay. Similar to some gadgets, all grenades resupply slowly when you're out of ammunition. This resupply is greatly sped up when you're near an ammo crate. So essentially, DICE are redefining the current system that's already in use. All grenades will have a resupply timer, and that timer will be sped up when you approach an ammo crate. Here are the new resupply timers for all of the grenades. Frag, 36 seconds. Light anti-tank, 36 seconds. Impact, 36 seconds. Incendiary, 36 seconds. Gas, 27 seconds. Mini, 24 seconds. And finally, smoke, 18 seconds. Those are the standard resupply timers for grenades now. But what about the decrease timer if you're near an ammo crate? Well, DICE have said that grenades will resupply three times faster if you're near an ammo crate. And that leaves us with these values. Frag, 12 seconds. Light anti-tank, 12 seconds. Impact, 12 seconds. Incendiary. 12 seconds. Gas, 9 seconds. Mini, 8 seconds. And finally, smoke again, 6 seconds. The reason behind DICE adding this decreased resupply time is to make sure that during normal gameplay, you don't experience a massive wait for your grenades to resupply. Say you just want to, you know, fully ammo up before going to the next objective. This decreased timer allows you to have a normal experience there. You're simply standing waiting, there's no action going on. You should get your grenades back fairly quickly. The penalty comes when you're simply in open gameplay without an ammo crate to resupply you. And you'll need to wait for the full amount of time before your grenade is going to come back. Ammo crates are really the centre of all of the changes here. And something I haven't mentioned is the ammo pouch. DICE have redefined this to be even more of a mobile bullet resupplier, rather than just a smaller version of the ammo crate. Grenades can no longer be resupplied 
from the ammo pouches. So if you want your grenades back quicker, you need to go and search for an ammo crate specifically. And indirectly, that promotes team play. If a support player is going to drop an ammo crate, he's probably going to find more players coming to find it, resupply, that gives him team points, and it will also encourage him to put it down so that he can make sure the rest of his team have got the ammo that they need. One other significant change too is the amount of grenades you can now carry. Some of the options before this patch on the CTE allowed you to spawn in with two grenades. That's changing. The smoke, gas and mini grenades have now all been reduced to just one grenade and that falls in line with the rest of the options available. This will further decrease the spam because you won't be able to follow up instantly with another grenade. This whole restructure of the grenade system is currently just a starting point. DICE are going to be tweaking this moving forward, but personally, I think this is a step in the right direction. This will focus gameplay back down a little bit more and allow players to use grenades more tactically. DICE have said they might expand this system into the gadget realm as well in the future. It looks like no crutch is safe from the CTE developers. They have said this is just a base, so they could go backwards and forwards with what they're going to do with the grenades, but they need people to test this stuff on the CTE. I'm really hoping they open up sign-ups publicly soon so they can get more people in there to test this stuff out. But I want to know what you guys think today. Do you think these changes were needed to the grenade system, or was it fine as it was before? This update hasn't directly reduced the power of the grenades, it simply made them less common on the battlefield, which I think is the focus. Turn down the spam. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section, I'll be reading as many as I can. You guys are awesome, but until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.